Uh, Coach Lee's uh, quick review of last weekend, trip down to Eugene, where you uh, shut out uh, the Ducks on Friday night, and then uh, uh, lost one on Saturday, and then came back on Sunday, and kind of were in it all the way to the very end. But uh, kind of talk about the starting pitching over the weekend. Got some good efforts from the guys. Yeah, I was uh, very excited for, for Damon Jones. That was his third quality start for us. Uh, he's really come out and commanded uh, three pitches and gave us a chance to be good right from the beginning, and that's something we've been searching for the whole year as far as you know, continuity and consistency in that. You know, Ian's been doing a great job, and we've been kind of looking for that uh, second and third starter to emerge. And uh, so we're, you know, he pitched good enough that we uh, we're going to start him again this weekend on uh, Saturday, and. Uh, you know, Damon got us going where I felt like, you know, when we came back in the dugout, we did a very good job on, on a very good pitcher uh, and, and crook. He uh, will have a chance to be in a top, you know, couple rounder. And I felt like our approach at the plate was, was very good. Uh, it was, uh, you know, we scored some runs and got on top and played very good defense throughout the game. And we threw strikes. Walker came in and shut the door for, you know, we're a little worried about Damon going any more than what he did. Uh, probably could have went another inning, but we, uh, you know, he'd started three games in a week and a half. And so we wanted to leave it at that. And um, that's where Walker's built up enough pitches that he could actually finish from the, the fifth on or fourth, yeah, right in there. And so um, did a good job Saturday. Uh, was not as impressed with uh, with our with our effort. I did think that Ian did a really good job, um, but we started out the game with the, throwing the ball down the line on a strikeout. They ended up scoring, and uh, you know we uh, could have made a play, at, you know, in the infield that would have shut it down completely uh, with two outs and got a couple more runs there, and they kept plucking away and and did what they you know had to do. Um, they weren't having much success on just swinging, so. You know, part of their game is, is is bunting, and they laid down some really good uh, drag bunts, ones that, you know, pitcher, third baseman, catcher can't handle and, and got themselves started till they could put guys in, on bases to uh, to score them. So, you know, kind of tip a cap to them, and I thought uh, Urban was as good as, you know, uh, talking to Coach Horton after the game. Felt like that was probably his best game of the year, and uh, we probably lent – to help him out a little bit, but he pitched well and uh, he was very, very good. And then as we go into Sunday, Trent Dupree gave us a great start and, you know, we were able to get a couple runs to kind of take advantage of uh, an error that they had had. We got going, we got the separation right where we wanted it. And, uh, I, you know, Spence turned around to me and said, you know what, you're going to hate me, but we're going to have to bring in Sunich about an inning to two a little bit earlier than we wanted. Um, you know, and we felt like that was the right decision at the time, and it was. But we knew it was going to, you know, as we got later in the game, it uh, it might be a little bit different you know, as far as the guys that we've been throwing at the end of the game to be winning. But uh, the effort on Sunday was great. The attitude was great. I did not feel like our kids gave up. I felt like they battled the whole time, and uh, that was important to me. Um, after I felt like it was, you know, not the effort that uh, we're looking for. And we visited about it um, after the game. Uh, and um, so I felt good about that. Although we lost, um, the other parts of it were were good. Uh, quickly, kind of a, a funky week here. You got finals week, um, so no games. And, and a couple of days off earlier in the week, now you're back in the field today. Uh, so the week off and then the series with Utah, first mm-hmm. place Utah coming to town. It, it doesn't start till Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Um, so talk about the week and then uh, the first place Utah coming to town. Yeah, well, we got home about uh, 1 a.m. on, on uh, well, I guess, uh, Monday morning. We had some kids that were taking finals, but uh, we set aside study time and uh, everybody made them. And so we gave them the first two days off this week just so they could concentrate on their finals. And it actually works out perfect with a Saturday, Sunday, Monday game. So um, we're going to start working individually with kids that don't uh, have, you know, that meet their times today. And we'll uh, have a full team practice uh, Thursday and Friday. And then we'll get ready for, for the weekend versus Utah. Any questions on the line for Coach Lees? Question uh, on your rotation for the uh, upcoming weekend. Do you know what it's going to be? Yeah, it's going to be Damon Jones, uh, Ian Hamilton, and uh, we're going to start Scott Sonich. 
uh, for the last game. We felt like, uh, you know, we got Scott hot twice this weekend before he actually came in the game on, on uh, Sunday. Um, and, the, you know, as we move on and we look at kids that can can start here or have a future too, we felt like uh, we wanted to give uh, Scott that opportunity, knowing that, you know, typically we have him and Walker in the pen ready to go on both days. But we just wanted to set a routine for him and uh, see if we can get the, the best effort uh, out of him as we can. You know, when you look at when we have good starts on the mound, we can we can stay in ball games and have a chance to win. And you know, Coach Spencer felt like it it was time to to if we've got three guys that we feel like can give us three good starts, um, we'll do that. And then you know, the guys that have been getting better, Chandler Greenfield's been getting better. Dupree can come out of the pen, um, and so we're gonna kind of form those guys into those situations as we, you know, throw bullpens this week. All right. Well, you answered my, my next question, which was uh, any discussions about moving Sonich or Walker to a starting role. What about Walker? Is, is he a candidate to do that uh, coming up? Uh, probably not this year. Uh, one of those guys needs to come out, you know, come out of the pen. Uh, it's, you know, we can't have a, uh, you know, Damon's been doing good. Um, I like what he's you know, and like his starts, he's had three quality starts. We're hoping for a fourth one, and then a fifth one, and then a sixth one. So uh, we're taking steps towards that. We do feel like Walker can start for us, um, but you know, somebody's got to come out in the fifth, sixth, seventh, uh, you know, uh, when it's one in time. And um, it takes, uh, you know, when you when you set your rotation, it takes a week, you know, because you got to throw their bullpens in order to what uh, they're they're able to do. So. Um, we're going to leave it at that for now. All right. Um, since I haven't seen your team in, in the last month here, um, I might have questions about a few players and their, and their availability and if they're hurt. Uh, first of all, um, Mason Cirillo. I know he had just one at that last weekend. Is he hurt? Uh, no, Mason's not hurt. He is, uh, um, they threw all three left-handed starters and the lineup that we had, uh, went into, you know, they're, they're really good left-handed starters. Uh, Mason hasn't seen much left-handed pitching, and when he, when he does, it's not the success that the other others do in the outfield. And uh, so that's why that was. Um, and he came in when, you know, uh, when the right – eventually, I, I do believe that Mason will be able to, to be very good uh, left on left, but as far as what we have right now, we felt like that was the best chance for us to to score runs, to hit, and uh, it worked. And, you know, until the last uh, well, about the eighth inning. Okay, okay. What about Justin Hare? Is uh, is he hurt, or you just see Strunz as the better option at this point? Uh, Justin Hare's been hurt for two weeks. He got uh, hit in the mouth by a baseball that kind of, uh, you know, he's trying to get his teeth back in order. Um, he will be wearing a, a mask, and he has started taking BP again. Uh, so we're hoping to get him in the lineup at some point. Uh, it'll probably be just as a hitter, and I'm starting to work with him uh, as an outfielder as well. But we, we do believe that he will be a vet. He's going to take some live uh, at-bats uh, here in just a little bit, and uh, hopefully we can have him available so we can have another option. But right now we're going with, you know, we, we have four infielders. That's where our depth is. It's... Uh, Matheny, Strunz, uh, Stamp, and McGrath. Uh, we've been working out thoroughbred at first base too, uh, so we have. Then that's our that's our other option. But uh, Justin's not ready to go back in the infield and field ground balls for you know until he gets you know some more ground balls that uh, he feels comfortable about. And was that uh, was it on a ground ball at practice when he got hit in the mouth? No, it was in a game. Uh, the sun got in his eye, and Patrick McGrath had thrown it from third base and. He took it right in the mouth and just, uh, um, you know, so he's been out for a couple of weeks. Okay. Um, and then uh, J.J. Hancock's status, what, what's, how's he right now? Uh, J.J.'s, uh, I, I feel he's in back full strength. Uh, he's not ready to catch yet. His hand's not ready to, to catch in a game, and he's not prepared to do that. Uh, he can come off the bench and hit. He's We've been playing him in the outfield a little bit. Um, and he's getting better out there, but uh, I want to see him catch a few more balls uh, in the air uh, in practice 
for us to be able to to trust that. Um, but I feel like I could get, you know, insert him, be ready to get some uh, at, at bats. Okay. And um, speaking of catching, I know Ty Johnson's hitting well. How's he handling the staff? He he's doing fine. Any other questions on the line for Coach Lees? Yeah, Coach. Uh, good morning, Lou Wright. With good hands. Hello. Uh, good morning. I wonder if you could expand on the way Ty tore the ball up last weekend. Uh, at the plate, it just seems like he's got he's seeing the ball really well. Yeah, no, he uh, he is. He's seeing the ball good, and uh, hopefully, he can c continue to do that. We uh, need to. Been, it's been an ongoing uh, work with uh, both our catchers to be uh, to be better than what they are. Um, we give up uh, too many runs, uh, too many missed pitches, and things like that. So it's uh, I'm if, if Ty wasn't where he was hitting wise, we wouldn't be where we're at as far as being in games. But uh, you know, uh, both our catchers need to improve, and it's you know um, they're they're working. They're getting better. I know Coach Horner, Coach Spencer are working with them daily to see if we can clean up some of the stuff that, that's happening behind the plate. But, uh, um, you know, he is seeing the ball good. And, and staying with defense, you, you're only charged with one error in the series against the Ducks. Can you talk a little bit about the, the progress of defensively? How's that coming for you guys? Well, I think we've gotten better defensively, with without a doubt. Um, I think all of our infielders have um, have gotten better. There were, I would say, three plays uh, defensively that, um, that were not charged as errors, uh, but they're errors. Um, and uh, you know, I, I guess that's how you do score bucks. I, I, I don't know, uh, but uh, um, we had a couple of plays that are, in my opinion, routine plays at this level that. Uh, Keep them from scoring uh, two and three runs, you know, in an inning. Uh, but I, I do like the progression of of, of all of our kids uh, in the infield. It's gotten it's gotten much better from the start. And, and one last thing, Trek is leading the, the conference in stolen bases. You know, as you're building this program going forward, is speed always going to be a top priority for you, for you when you're looking at kids? Absolutely, and we've. Uh, You'll get. Uh, we're going to announce a signing class uh, tomorrow, I believe, and uh, you'll see. Um, you know what we're what we're trying to do with that. Um, I feel like we've got a, you know, a couple more kids just like Trek, um, who have the ability to run and are very athletic, and uh, will add to the style of play that we would like to have here.